Okay, so now let me do one more, quick, two more quick examples of this. Um, so we did a calculation like this last time, is we were looking at the separation between the central bright fringe and the third bright fringe. But what, if I ask you, you know, if you look at this pattern, you know, it's drawn such that it looks very even, right? Is that true or is that just the way I've drawn it? So let's figure out the spacing between successive fringes, not just between the zeroth order fringe and any other bright fringe, but between successive fringes. So m equals 0, m equals 1, m equals 2, m equals 3. What is the difference between this and then this and then this? On this image, they look equal. Is that indeed the case? So how do I do this? I go back to... So what we had was d sine theta is equal to m lambda. The second thing we said was that the tangent of the angle, this is d sine theta m, we said that the tangent of the angle is y over l, which gives us, okay, it's the equivalent of that. Now, L is much greater than D, so we say the angles are small, so we say that the sine and the tan are approximately equal, so we are setting these equal to one another. So what you're doing is you're saying D, since D sine theta is M lambda, we can write sine theta is M lambda over D. So I say M lambda over D is equal to Y M over L, right? Or ym is m lambda l over d. So y1 is lambda l over d, y2 is 2 lambda l over d, y3 is 3 lambda l over d. So whatever the distance from the zeroth order fringe to the first, the distance between that and the second is double that. The distance between that and the third is three times that, right? So you see the result of this is that they are evenly spaced. Okay? So the small angle approximation, as long as my slit is much smaller than this length, so that is to say the screen is far away, I'm going to get an interference pattern with evenly spaced fringes. Okay, and for this particular case, I get, I have L equals 2 meters, so that I put the 2 meters there. Lambda is equal to 650 nanometers, so that's in there. And D is 0.25 millimeters, so that's, all those distances are expressed in meters. And I've taken the final answer and written it in millimeters times m, where this m is the order. So this m over here is the order of the fringe. So it tells me that the fringes are going to be evenly spaced. 